Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to get OBS FTL streaming to Beam with that minimal delay. Now unfortunately I won't be able to show you that it does work, but this is the steps that I followed. Um, I contacted Beam support because I was having issues with it. They helped me out. Um, super awesome. So real quick, do you want to download this link in the description here? Um, it's the FTL. It does tell you how to do certain things, but I'm going to tell you what I did. So, um, OBS Studio, you want to download that. Boom. Okay, you're great. Now, it'll you'll install it. You'll have two versions, 64, I mean 64-bit and the 32-bit. I use the 64-bit. Now, I can make myself smaller, so... Whoa, whoa, wait. Where'd it go? Where'd the webcam go? Oh, wee. Okay. Now... What you want to do is when you open up um, the FTL, you're going to go to File. Well, first, I need to go to my Beam profile. Go to File, Settings, Stream, and here. It will be probably on default streaming services, but you'll choose the Beam FTL service. You'll choose the server nearest to you, and you'll put in your stream key. Simple, normal. That's usually what you got to do for every streaming service. However, you are going to go to output. For encoder, it works best with the CPU encoder instead of the GPU encoder. So I recommend, if you can, using the CPU encoder. I set my bit rate to 2500. The keyframe interval, based on what I saw on Beam's site, I put it to 1. Um, it seems to work fine. CPU usage, if you don't have the greatest CPU like me for playing games, and streaming at the same time I bumped it down to super fast and it still looks pretty great um, so there's always that <clears throat> and then here make sure you have advanced chose should have said that a little before um, the x264 options you want to type this in this that's what's going to enable the um, super short latency it's like a millisecond or I mean not a millisecond it's crazy it's under a second um, it's awesome so if you've been trying to get it working with OBS and you haven't really been able to figure it out like I wasn't able to figure it out this is how I do it and this is how it works and it works perfectly so hope that helped you guys <clears throat> if you have any questions feel free to ask me also if you ever have any questions about beam contact their customer support um, they're awesome. They'll respond to you quickly, and it's they're really great. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make, oh, yeah, yeah. make sure to follow me on Beam. Beam.pro slash JDM Games. See you there. You can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and, of course, subscribe here on YouTube. You can find me on all those places at JDM Games. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Boop.